President Biden's border crisis breaking even more records. Over a quarter of a million migrants encountered in December. That is the single highest month on record. <laughs> As you know, border states are so fed up, they've been busing migrants to sanctuary cities like New York. And now four migrants that were on one of those buses have been reportedly arrested earlier this month in a big shoplifting bust. Police saying they stole over $12,000 in merchandise from a Macy's at a mall on Long Island. Cops say they caught the crew at a traffic stop for allegedly using bogus plates on a BMW. According to the police, two of the suspects listed a Manhattan hotel as their address. Mark, there's a lot of questions and frustrations that taxpayers in New York City hold, especially one where they see illegal immigrants that are being housed in upscale hotels, for example, around Times Square, being treated much better than the homeless or the incarcerated, both of whom those groups are citizens. All true. Uh, but this is why that governors in places like Texas and Arizona have been busing these migrants to places like New York and Washington and Chicago. It's it, the, the biggest problem we have in our politics and why nothing gets solved is because the elites in these cities like New York and Washington never feel the impact of the policies that they impose and the calamities that they impose on the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. And so what these governors have done is they're giving New York and Washington a taste of what's happening in Eagle Pass. The difference between New York and Eagle Pass is last I checked Eagle Pass did not declare itself a sanctuary city. Mm -mm. New York did. And so if you want these policies to change, if you're unhappy with all these things, vote new leaders in. I mean, there, I, I'm old enough to remember when, Repo when New Yorkers elected Rudy Giuliani and we had a Republican mayor who came in and cleaned, 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 cleaned this stuff up. If, you, if you're unhappy with what's happening in your city, do something about it. I certainly tried. My vote didn't count, apparently, this, this election. <laughs> um, Harris, what disturbed me as well uh, was the interviews with the hotel proprietors and owners mm -hmm. who talked about how the food that they served was all going to waste, who talked about and showed photos of the destruction in these hotels that they had to foot the bill for, uh, one that they reported uh, an illegal immigrant got into an altercation, a physical assault of a security guard there, drug use more and more and more these are not just about footing a bill. It's also about having extra costs and extra stress at the behest of the federal government and local. Well, and it's dangerous what you are describing. I, I mean, these men, you don't think they just got this inventive on their own like yesterday. Were they criminals in their previous countries? And look, the drug cartels are among us now. Mm. That jailbreak was real in Juarez. They went north. Mm. So the cash that they can get from unloading these goods, is that going to the cartel? Are we, are we looking at, at like some sort of a, a cartel hub that could break open in our country? We better make sure we fund the police. Mm. And we'd better make sure that that 19 or 20 percent or so that, that's always been, you know, Americans who've served this country wanting to continue to serve inside the country as civilians, we better hope those men and women still want to be part of our police forces after serving in the military. Mm -hmm. We're going to need their expertise and their protection. Thank you, by the way, to them. Exactly. You know, what, what other record was broken uh, just recently was the terror watch list amount of arrests that have been made now at the southern border. Again, not accounting for the 1.2 million gotaways that might have terror watch list members among those. The numbers, to Harris's point, are frightening and they keep growing. Well, you know, this is what happens when you don't have a southern border, when you don't care about national sovereignty. And President Biden was clear during the campaign before he won election. And then on day one, he basically tore down every single thing that we had done to kind of cobble together some kind of southern border. So nothing that's happening is surprising. And the fact that both Republicans and Democrats aren't taking this seriously also contributes that's to the problem. Right. But you're absolutely right. We have ceded control of our border to the cartels. Mm -hmm. And there was just last week in my home county of Tulare County in California, mm -hmm. a cartel tell style killing probably related to drugs and yeah. you know this really does change the way things are happening you do not want to no. import from mexico the type of justice system they have there where cartels are completely controlling what happens that killing was of a young mother mm -hmm. by the way Including it was a, a brutal execution of a young mother and her baby yeah i didn't, I didn't yeah. know you're from Tulare. molly i love what you're saying it's like it's on both sides of the aisle republicans and democrats need to qualify this as a crisis and once you know what it is and objectify it a humanitarian crisis an immigration crisis an asylum crisis you don't a think republicans security, have done that well we need to come together and have the conversation to put solutions forward but one side doesn't want to call it a crisis the other one is and as long as we keep pointing fingers at each other there will never be the forum remember the gang of eight back in the day a version of that something that gets us 
to solutions. But I do love, and Mark, you hit it right on the head. I live in Texas now. This is very hot and alive in Texas. It costs $850 million a year for Texas to care for migrants, and now the rest of the country is getting a taste of it. Mm -hmm. So there's the political piñata, mm -hmm. as I often call it, on air, of immigration that gets hit, gets hit, but nothing gets solved. Well, and, uh, and the cost factor that now you feel it when it gets to your town. It sounds nice to be welcoming, but then when it hits your bottom line and your streets, it feels a little bit different. But Democrats have been talking, right? You've got action. Henry Cuellar. You, you've got Democrats who have it, but those in the most powerful positions don't want to listen. And so it's been Republicans making the decisions, the hard decisions to, to put up containers, to build a wall, to, to try to finish. Yes. off what they can to, to stem that, that and tide. And to file Temporary. lawsuits yeah. to no declare disasters. No more words. We need action. Yes. We need Republicans action. have been doing it for years, for years. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.